Greetings and salutations and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is December 1st, which means Christmas is right around the corner. But ever since I was a kid, I've always had an issue with Christmas. I didn't always have an issue with Christmas, but over the years I've grown to resent it. And I am hoping that this video will help me resolve my issues with Christmas and help me move on in my life so that I can enjoy this holiday. I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna tell you guys a story. When I was a kid, I used to love Christmas. I would always go to um, Arrowhead. I went there because I had grandparents that lived up there. And uh, every year, my parents would always ask me where I want to go. And as a kid, I was always like, I want to go to Grandma and Grandpa's. Because they were cool, and they got like so many things. They were so cool. Like, my grandmother would always play music on the piano, and my grandpa would, he would do this thing every year. He would go out and buy like five pies and just so much ice cream. He was a fanatic for ice cream. And, uh, you know, I just loved going there. That was like the highlight of the season, was to go up there and spend time with my grandparents. And we would spend a couple nights up there in, uh, in their cabin. They would have a huge Christmas tree, and he would have, like, all these decorations all over the house, and the house would be, uh, the tree would be all decorated, and uh, there would be like a train set that went underneath the tree and went around it. Um, he was he was really big on family. He loved family. He always wanted the family to be together for the holidays. And so he would always have everyone go to his house, Narrowhead, to a, a, a location that everyone could meet at and meet up. So I must have been around nine. And I was all excited, you know? I was like, we're going to Arrowhead. Gonna go see Grandma and Grandpa. It was probably like, shoot, maybe uh, a few days before Christmas. So I was all excited, and I was like packing like presents and stuff because I was like really looking forward to seeing them. And then uh, my mom got a call, and I wasn't really paying attention at the time. When, when she got that call. I was still like stoked, you know? I was like, we're going to the arcade, we're gonna go see Grandma and Grandpa, we're gonna go see my Uncle Ed, which was also a very huge uh, person in my life. You know, I, I did everything with my uncle. And, uh, which, now that I think about it, he wasn't necessarily my uncle. Like, he was bloodline to me, but like, very distant bloodline. But I still called him Uncle Ed as a kid. And then my mom kind of puts the phone down. You know, she, the, I don't know if the phone was, I don't think the conversation was done, but she kind of like, hung up, and then she went to the room, and, and it went quiet for a while. You know, I didn't know what was going on. And, uh, so my mom comes back out after she got done talking to my dad and uh, she sat me down and uh, she said hey I've I've got some bad news for you I didn't know what was going on and so she she looked me in the eyes and she said uh, your your grandpa just died from a heart attack And so it, it, it took a while, you know, they, they like, um, and, uh, I just remember just this heavy weep, this grief. I just couldn't stop. I would just keep going until I fell asleep, and then when I woke up again, I just kept going. Um, and 
that's so... <laughs> I didn't think... I didn't think this was gonna happen. I'm serious. It's been so many years and... I honestly didn't think... And so, uh, I eventually, we eventually went up for, uh, the funeral, and, uh, I do believe it was, uh, Christmas Eve when we buried him. And, uh, that was, uh, that was a dark Christmas for all of us. It took a lot of us to, uh, move on. It took a lot of us to move it. <sighs> As I was saying, it took a lot of us, uh, a lot of strength and courage to move on, but I never did. And so, in order for me to live my life, I had to bury my feelings deep down inside, where I couldn't feel them anymore. And so, I didn't know how to handle that. So I started blaming just literally everything, including, including the holiday. I just blamed the holiday for some reason. And uh, the whole point of all of this, the reason why I'm saying all this now, is because I'm hoping that this will help me move on and finally probably for hopefully the first time in like six six years I'll be able to uh, and hopefully enjoy Christmas so that's it for this video um, leave a like down below, in the comment section down below, if you've lost someone dear, uh, tell, tell your story. You say who you lost and, you know, how much they meant. And then, uh, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, I make so many videos. <laughs> It's just so many. Down below, there's like a bunch of different plugins that I'm in. So go ahead and uh, check out any of those other plugins that I'm uh, connected with. You know, my Twitter, Instagram. I think I have like a Facebook page. All right, here's the thing. I don't really post much on my Facebook page. It's just announcements and like heads ups and stuff. So if you're ever like curious about what I might be filming next or if something ends up getting canceled or something like that, events. That'd be on my Facebook page. I hope to see all of you in the next video.